Now, I never met a person who doesn't know how headache feels, whether it's a throbbing headache that keeps bothering us for days, or it's a tension type of headache that causes tension in the neck and feels like a band across the head, or simply a type of headache that feels like a drill in our eye sockets. Those are different descriptions of headache, and they usually belong to one of those three most common types of headache, and we will explain in this video how to recognize them. Furthermore, we will also explain dangerous signs that indicate that something dangerous might be developing in the patient's skull, or that the intracranial pressure is increased. Now, this video was made using an atomski.com. And if you're a medical student or a doctor and you want to make a similar video, then you can use that website. So how can we recognize cluster headache? Well, cluster headache is a very interesting headache, and that's why I wanted to explain it first. Cluster headache can be recognized by drilling pain in one eye. And that pain can also happen in the temporal region of the human skull. Now, that's not everything we know about cluster headache. Cluster headache also comes with lacrimation. That means that patients offer suffer from a lot of tears. Furthermore, this type of headache causes eye redness and also possibly a droopy eyelid. But where does the cluster headache name come from? Well, it's called cluster headache because headache attacks happen in clusters, one after another. They last anywhere between 15 minutes to several hours and they continue coming back. Patients are often asleep and then they're suddenly woken up by a headache attack and then they can't go back to sleep because these attacks keep coming back. But that is not a very common description of headache that patients suffer from. Patients usually suffer from migraine and tension headache. But before we explain that, there is something that can truly help with headache. And that is, if you do this for our video and share our video so that people can learn about these types of headache and also learn about possible dangerous signs that they should always recognize. But what do patients with migraine type of headache report? Well, patients with migraine usually complain about a pulsating or a throbbing pain. And if we look closely over here inside of the human skull, we can see these two red things. What are they? Well, they are the internal carotid arteries. And so as the human heart pumps the blood through these arteries, patients can then report pulsating, throbbing pain, usually in one side of their head. Now, this what you can see here is the human brain. And as you can see, it's covered with blood vessels, the arteries and veins. And of course, they can pulsate as well. And then this pulsating pain can be felt across the entire half of the patient's head. Now, something that can happen with migraine type of headache is if we recognize that the attack is coming, but how can we recognize it? What are the signs? What are the early signs of a migraine attack? Those are the early warning signs of a migraine attack. Migraine attacks usually happens after patients experience this typical migraine aura and photophobia and phonophobia. So how long do migraine attacks last? Well, migraine attacks with their throbbing pain usually last anywhere between four hours and a couple of days. And that helps us distinguish migraine headache from the most common type of headache, tension headache. And how long does tension headache last? Well, usually not longer than six hours. 
Since tension type of headache is the most common type of headache, it's really important to know what other signs can help us distinguish tension headache from migraine. Migraine with its throbbing pain usually affects one side of the patient's head. Tension type of headache feels like a band that exerts pressure and tension across both sides of the patient's head. The throbbing pain from the arteries around the brain in the patients with migraine is made worse if the patients start to exercise during the attack. Pain in patients with tension type of headache is usually not increased with physical activity. Patients with migraine usually report nausea and then vomiting, whereas the patients with tension type of headache usually don't experience that. And now two dangerous signs that might indicate that a cause for the patient's headache is something dangerous and lethal. The first sign I'd like to explain is a change in the characteristics of the headache or the intensity of the headache upon change of the patient's position. This might indicate that a tumor is the cause for the patient's headache. The second sign is fever and a stiff neck. This might indicate that a dangerous, lethal infection of the brain membranes has developed in that particular patient. Maybe the most important thing when it comes to headache is to recognize what type of headache the patient suffers from and how to treat it. Something that can truly help us learn about that are the differential diagnosis tables that you can find at symptomsky.com slash headache. These tables are optimized for the United States medical licensing exams. Now, if you're a doctor or a medical student and you want to make a video similar to this one, then go to anatomsky.com. Well, both could subscribe to our channel.